enjoying it. Hello, Adventure Team. Scotchy in here with Katie. We're here in New York City with the school buses behind us because we're going to go to pizza school today. We're going to find out who has the best lights. So it's going to be delicious. Come on. Cheese is good. And it's crispy. It's crispy. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is thicker than the average uh, New York City slice. Good. This is a large slice. He says we're using a filter it because it's fries. so big. It's in the Rich Village. So I always went to artichokes when I went to party here. So there was my food afterwards. <laughs> a lot of beers. A lot of beers. And where you went to afterwards. They open around 10. I'm sorry, they open around 11. And then they stay open until 5 a.m. So, late night eat spot. Yeah. <laughs> so, who are we the judge, the potential best slice of pizza in New York? Well, I did my research. I even asked one of my former co workers, Jada Montemarano, a little bit about hers because she's from New York. I also went to school in Connecticut, so there is a little Italy in New York. Big on pizza. After that all filled up, they started another little Italy in Connecticut. That's where I got my pizza schooling. That pizza, some say is better. I don't know, it has some great pizza over there. Not to mention, quarter Italian. And then we got... Me. <laughs> well, I'm Kenny and I'm from Germany, so uh, I'm really hard to impress and um, yeah. <laughs> In other words, you're, we're your quintessential New York tourists trying to decide, can this pizza really wow us? Stop two, Joe's. First thing she says, it's crowded, so it must be good. <laughs> I haven't even tried mine yet. I went a whole different direction. It looks so weird with the salsa. Like, honestly, it looks... <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna say. The best one so far? Yeah. Okay. Why? It's good, it's fresh. It's thin and crispy. It has enough cheese. It's just really tasty. Like comparing to the other ones.
We can go home. Or stay here. <laughs> hey, I mean, there is a reason this place has been around since 1905. Well, yeah. technically, 1890-something. But they got their license in 1905. Okay. <laughs> this is my, I've had, four slices of pizza face. And we still have two more places to go. I don't have any place left in my belly. <laughs> she wants me to roll her out of here. <laughs> Probably the appropriate pizza joke to make. <laughs> but in the spirit of pizza, maybe I can toss her out of here. <laughs> Thanks, you're so nice to me. <laughs> Come on, don't you want another slice of pizza? There's so much left. I want all of it. I'm just so full. This is probably the best pizza we've had so far today, of the four. All right. <laughs> so full. <laughs> it's almost like like we're drunk, but we're not. <laughs> we're just drunk off pizza. <laughs> oh. Too many cows. <laughs> It's, it's the carbs, <laughs> the fermentating, creating alcohol in our bellies. That's what it is. Yeah, I'm really glad that I didn't put a cheese on today. <laughs> I'm prepared. Again, this is a sober conversation. <laughs> no one has had anything to drink. <laughs> It was real. We couldn't eat anything for the rest of the day and it was only 3 p.m. So to those other two pizzerias on our list, sorry we couldn't make it. We kind of ran out of space. It's science. But of those four pizzerias that we went to in Manhattan, the best, Lombardi's. Oh my gosh, it was so great. Uh, best part was that coal oven just adds to it. So if you're gonna go to a pizza in Manhattan, go to Lombardi's, you will not be disappointed. Our order of the best of those four is actually, we didn't plan it, the way we win. Now, if you agree with our favorite pizza or have your own, remember, throw that into the comments. We'd love to see them. And in the meantime, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until the next time, explore more. We can go home. Or stay here. <laughs>